Okay, all right, folks, that we are going to, we got a Tesla Model 3 here, and we're gonna show you our little secret. I mean, I don't know if it's a secret or if it's just one of the decent ways of getting one of these cameras out um, without destroying your fender. Yeah. And then we're gonna take another one and show you how to snap it back in, so, which has also got a little trick to it. But first, I'm gonna show you, obviously, we've got the camera here. We've got little tabs on the top. They're just little teeth on the top of here. Yep, little. And that's gonna be what we do first. Little right? nubs, and they don't move, but they, yeah, they got little nubs on them. Yep. And then on the bottom side, there's actual tabs. Now push in. Yep, and you have to push these in. So you always start with the top. And you would and think that, that you just push those bottom tabs in and it would come out. That is not the case with these. You can, you can go in behind the wheel liner, and it doesn't help. You gotta. So I'm showing you right now. These tabs you need to push down on. So line it up. You know there's a tab behind here and behind you. You can use anything flat and skinny to get in here. Yeah, but yeah, but I mean, these fenders are going to be replaced. But like, if you have a plastic tool of some sort, is is be a better choice. But the. So the, we're trying to show you with something that you that a normal person would have sitting around. Um, but yeah, so now to get them unplugged, we're gonna go in through the wheel liner to get to the back side. So we're just gonna pull out these little tabs. <laughs> Got my I finger like in it like this. it was. Just pull that wheel liner out so you can get your arm in it in there. Now we're gonna hit those tabs on the back side. The ones that actually move. Got one and two. Yep. Now it should just be yep. And it should just be able to pull out. And so the the real trick of it is you can get behind there and push the tabs that that are on the bottom there, but it doesn't come out. The, the you have to you have to get these to to release first. Um, the preferred method. Let's say that we knew if we had a save. We, we try to use like a plastic, I mean, yeah, it says Maco tools. It's just a big piece of plastic that, you know, kind of has a, a little bit of an edge on it that you can get in. You know, you, you don't want, obviously want to scrape your paint up um, and it doesn't take much to, but so that's that little trick. So the next trick is getting them unplugged. So I'm gonna start with the actual camera feed cable. Um, yes. You can see this black piece right here. I'll show you on the other one, this little tab right here. That is what we're seeing on the top of this plug. Right. So we're gonna try to pry up on that, and then we're gonna pull the plug away while we're prying up on that. And so, usually, with this one, the the what well, happens is you break the little right there that that, that little part. Of, which if you're just pulling these out and replacing them, then it doesn't matter. But then it's pretty much the same thing with the coaxial cable. That coaxial cable. So this is very is. important. It you cannot just splice one of these in, so this has to... It has a little lever to push down to try to get that to flip up. That does not always work. Small screwdriver if you have a, a flat head for glasses or something like that to get underneath there to pull that tab up. Yeah, we'll, show you, we'll show you the, like, yeah, what the little board. tab looks like. That's the piece of what we're trying to push up. We're trying to lift that up. Yep. And you, it's, it, as much as I hate to say it, you, you, can, you can break that plug sometimes before it will release from there. That, if you can see that, see that little nub on there right there? Yeah. It, you just got to get that little tab to go up over that. You do not want to force it. You do not want to, you do take no chances of tearing your plugs up. They're wired into your, one of your main wiring harnesses. So I'm not going to plug it back in just because if you plug them back in. Yeah, it's easy to plug them in. We're going to start, when you're putting them back in, you're going to start with these first on the bottom. On the bottom, the bottom two, the, the ones that, that move. And then it just needs a swift kick in it to get it in there. Just Bing. like that. Bam. Okay. So I hope that helps, folks. And uh, tell you what, I know if there's a better way of doing it, we haven't found it. Have a good day.